Component number five of the hip hinge involves the back. So we're going to have uh, Matt, our demo guy here, uh, <laughs> from the back side. So we're talking about building a broad, stable back. So if you can imagine breathing into your back, so you can actually feel the breath coming into your back, and then almost like someone's pushing in your shoulders, you're going to push out against them. This is what we want. You can see his shirt is nice and kind of almost stretched versus what we don't want, which is a fake kind of pinned down and back shoulder. Let's go ahead and show him that, Matt. So right there, we don't want that. We want him to actually have his back broad and stable via the breath and via that kind of pushing out. And that's going to set him up for a really nice neutral spine and ultimately a really effective, strong, stable back to do a hip hinge. Go ahead and go down, grab the bar, come on up, fill it back up with air, pushing out broad, and then go ahead and hinge. Excellent back up. That's how we keep our back broad and stable for a hip hinge. Nice job.